When nature calls, you gotta answer. This is my lovely spread of how I use the bathroom while camping, living in my car, and living in my RV as well. This is certainly the most transparent and humbling video I have yet to make and put out there on the web. And it's my most frequently asked question. The people wanna know. This video is for you if you car or vehicle camp, if you tent camp, if you live in your vehicle, or if you live in California. Because in California, public restrooms don't exist, even if you're a patron of a particular business. In California, unless you wanna go on the side of the road, which many people are forced to do, then you too can benefit from this video. This table is divided into three sections. This first section here is for number one. This section here is optional for number one. This section here, plus some stuff on the side, is for number two. If you're new to the channel, welcome! My name is Autumn and I do a bunch of videos all about nomadic living. Be sure to subscribe. This is a female urinal. It was created for medical purposes. You can see how this is made for a woman's body. I almost did like an over the clothes demonstration with this just to show you how it fits perfectly for a woman. That might get me kicked off YouTube. Not gonna do that. I have tried other items, a shiwi and a pee thing. That's what this is called, a pee thing and a shiwi. I didn't like this. If you practiced with it more than I did, perhaps it would be functional for you. But for me, I just found that I peed on my hands and I don't like doing that. This is great for whenever you go out into the woods, you go backpacking or hiking, you can slip this in your backpack. You always want a paper towel to clean it out when you're done. This helps when you're squatting with the uh, flow. It basically channels the flow. This is also optional. When I first started using this thing, I was afraid of spillage. It's like a doggy pee pad or a human pee pad. I put this underneath me each time I needed to go in my car. I stopped doing that after about a month because I realized I never spill. I don't know if it's a talent or if this thing is just made so well that it's easy. This is my beautiful toilet paper because why not make stuff pretty. This water here is both for demonstration purposes as well as to show you how I clean. All right, so you do your thing. You've got some urine in here. During the day, you just pour it out in the woods. And then what I would do is take a paper towel, clean it out. Initially, when I first got this thing, I would use a disinfectant wipe every single time I went to the bathroom. After about a month, I realized that if you immediately clean this thing out with a paper towel, get it dry, it just wasn't necessary. As long as you clean this thing as soon as it's still dripping, you're good to go. Just make sure it's dry, it won't stink. You then throw this away. By the way, I have two bag options here. Sometimes I just use a little doggy bag because it works. I initially started using a Ziploc because I was afraid of stink. You don't want your car to stink. However, what I found is it doesn't. For me, I don't know, so I could use this. And how dirty is urine? Let me see, I'm gonna look that up and tell you. I did some urine research. So urine is usually sterile when it leaves the body. The healthier you are, the more water you drink, and the cleaner your diet, the more sterile and clean your urine is. It's a funny thing to talk so freely about peeing and urine and pooping, but this all, this whole video is my most frequently asked question. Initially, I was a little shy talking about this, not anymore. Now I'm freely, without blushing, leaving videos about it on YouTube. At night, what I would end up doing, because I didn't want to open my doors, have to go through my whole OCD ritual of relocking the doors once I opened them, and especially when stealthing. So I preferred to have a black water tank. By the way, this black water tank never has number two, it just has number one. I got this for $3 at like some store in California. Just go to the bathroom, pour it in your black water tank, seal that up because in the case that you ever knock this thing over, you do not want pee all over your car. Seal it up tight. I initially had a smaller object than this and I realized I drink a lot of water, I drink a lot of tea, I pee a lot. So this needed to be bigger. This I think is like 50 or 60 ounces. 
was enough for me overnight. Anyway, after you pour, you wipe and dry. If you don't wipe and dry, it's gonna stink. You've got your little hand sanitizer here, and boom, it's ready to go for the next time. By the way, I also put my toilet paper in this bag. As I was creating this video, I wondered, what shall I title it? I went with the good old fashioned how to pee and poop while camping or living in your vehicle. However, I asked ChatGPT for some great ideas and there were three runners up. In fourth place was driving, dripping, and destined for relief, the ultimate road bathroom adventure. In third place was navigating more than just the roads, the art of GPS, going peeing and staying in your car. And the runner up, it actually might have been my favorite, but it still came in second place, singing in the rain, more like tinkling on the terrain. Then, in the morning, you take your black water tank. You go, you pour it out. It's a bit stinky, I'll be honest. Your instincts. This is now being water, it's not acting as pee. This is actual water. You pour it in. Now, when you're off grid for a while, you gotta conserve your water. I literally probably only put like an eighth of a cup of water and I let it rinse around, I roll it around, I pour it out. Then I take a paper towel and I dry the inside. Again, to stop the smell and to disinfect, you wanna get all the little driplets out. You want to get it nice and dry. Yeah, you're coming in close contact with your pee when you live on the road. It's just the way that it is. You then throw this away. Next, take one of these guys. These are nice Clorox disinfecting wipes. Kills 99% of viruses and bacteria. I clean thoroughly on the inside. This has some kind of scent. It's a crisp lemon scent. I just wipe very clean, very clean. I also clean the top. Give it a nice disinfecting situation. And then what I do is I don't close it right away because now it's kind of airing out. It's got the crisp lemon scent and I just let it air out. Usually outside, when you clean this first thing in the morning and you only use it overnight in your car, it doesn't stink. Since I've been living in the RV and I do use this during the day so that I don't have to go outside every single time I pee to dump it, I just dump it in here. I'm finding that I do need to clean this two to three times a day with this whole process with the uh, Clorox. And that's just because I don't want it to stink. I want to remain clean. I want to remain hygienic. And then by the way, after doing that, because you've just handled your pee, what you want to do is some hand sanitizer. All right, that covers number one. In a few minutes, I will share how that all works out from inside of the car. But first, on to number two. There's always the good old dig a hole in the woods. You want it to be at least six inches deep. So make sure you find a place that's not too rocky where you can do that. You can go in the woods where it's private. Don't be gross. You know how many times I've come out to beautiful locations and people did not dig deep enough and you find that it's disgusting. It is so gross. Don't be gross. Clean up after yourself. Have courtesy for others. What I started doing more often than not was setting up my tent. This is a pop-up privacy tent. And then I have this fantastic little toilet thingy. I find this more comfortable than squatting. See, it goes like this. You can take a biodegradable bag. I bought these on Amazon. You just go like this. You do your thing. Sometimes people double bag it. I found that these bags are such high quality that I don't need to double bag it initially. When I carry it out to a trash can, I do double bag it because ew, you just don't want to risk that. These are good quality bags. All of these items, by the way, you guys, if they're available online, I've linked them below. Some things such as this, I just got it at like a one-off store. You could probably find something like this at the dollar store. But if I got it online, I'll put some links below. Anyhow, I personally like to use the cleansing cloth. I like them. You just throw them in the bag, you toss it. When you're camping in your car or a tent, 
or a much smaller vehicle than old clunk behind me these pop-up tents are fantastic i bought two the first one i bought i was very unhappy with because it was an alleged privacy tent without a privacy liner so you could see your silhouette if the sun was hitting the tent that doesn't make sense this tent i highly recommend it's excellent it has a liner again linked below this tent does have stakes to keep it in place but i will say if it's especially windy it's gonna give you some problems. It's gonna blow over. So that's one of the challenges, is if it's really windy and you need to go number two out in the woods, it might be better to find like a bush or a tree. Let me show you how easy this is to fold down. Did you see how easy that just folded up? So this is an excellent tent. I'm a big fan of the pop-up tent. It takes less than five minutes to set up and that's including hammering the stakes into the ground. If you're using the bathroom in your car and you want to be kind of stealth about it, you got to crawl into the back. And this is where having good quality tinted windows is going to come in handy. Windows are down for demonstration purposes, but I recommend tinted windows. Ta-da! See how easy that was? Kind of this little rod. This was my home for 16 months. When you gotta go in your car, you still have the same products. This one's optional. I don't use this anymore because I've never spilled. My pretty toilet paper I didn't bring in. I keep that in the motor home now. So this, I keep in little red. It's not pretty, but it's functional. What you do is you just have to kind of kneel. I cannot believe I'm showing this. Oh my goodness, but I'm gonna show it. You just have to kneel in such a way that this can scoop under you. And then you also want to be careful when pulling it out that you do so very gently and carefully so there's not spillage. Now, if you're out in the woods, in the wilderness, you just dump it outside, have a paper towel ready to clean it up. You want to do that right away. I just want to emphasize that over and over again because if you don't, it will stink. If you clean it off when it's wet, it won't stink. If you do happen to forget, just use one of these, rinse it out, or go rinse it with soap and water in some kind of public restroom area. And you are choosing to use this, all you do is you put this underneath where you're doing your business, same process. If it's night, just like I described before, you have this, make sure it doesn't leak, just in case I've never dropped this or spilled this. But man, can you imagine how gross that would be if you did? Like if it spilled and it leaked? Yeah, goodbye clean car. Anyway, you just, <laughs> there you go. You got your hand sanitizer for when you're done. You got your Ziploc bag. I always kept this close by. I was sleeping, I just keep it up here. And when I'm driving sometimes right down there. So I mean, it's, it's simple. It just takes some adjustment, but it's really simple. When I first started in car life, I would just go outside. In the middle of the night, I'd get outside and squat. I didn't like doing that. I didn't even feel so safe. And then once, like if there's other campers around and you don't have privacy, once I thought I had privacy and I accidentally went right in front of a guy, a cute guy at that. That was embarrassing. Plus there's animals. It's a very vulnerable thing to be a mammal out in the wild doing your business. That's why every single time Chloe goes, I let her know, hey girl, I got your back. I got your back, I'm watching out for you because that's when a lot of animals get attacked and killed. So as a human animal, you wanna be safe. This was a much better process. In terms of number two in my car, I've never actually done that in my car. I've either always gone out into the woods, used my privacy tent, or I went to a public restroom. I always had one of those options available. Now people have asked me, what about if you get sick? What about if there's an emergency? I am super blessed. That has never happened. I rarely have stomach issues. Knock on some wood here. <laughs> I'm just really blessed that I have very regular digestion. I suppose there probably are ways to go number two in your car. You could use a pop-up bowl with a bag. You could use a bucket. For me, I just never did it because the risk of cleanup and damage to things if there's an accident <laughs> seemed really high for me. And so since I didn't need to do that, I didn't take that risk. In the RV? When I need to go, I use this. 
Even though it has this toilet, I don't go number one or number two in there. And for number one, I basically stand right here because you can stand with this thing. Pour it in there, dump this out two or three times a day, clean it up with the disinfecting wipes as I showed, throw this out every chance I go into town. And yeah, that's the setup. I've not even been in the RV for a month at this point. And as amazing as it is, it's also overwhelming. And I want things to be as simple as can be. Given that I have this whole bathroom thing down from living in a car for 16 months, I didn't wanna change it up. I didn't wanna deal with a black water tank. I didn't wanna deal with a gray water tank. Even though that may not be a tricky thing, to me it seems kinda gross, even though it might be simple. Update, so I told my brother that I have not been using the toilet, the black water tank, the gray water tank, or any of the plumbing. I haven't been using my fresh water tank either. To which my brother responded, what kind of rv -er are you? <laughs> to which I responded, touche. I'm an RVer who doesn't know what I'm doing. I have a lot to learn and the experience of being in the RV has been incredible and it's been overwhelming. So I've been taking some baby steps. Initially, I thought I wasn't gonna use the toilet in the black water tanks at all. Cause I'm like, that just seems like a lot. My brother told me how easy it is. And my brother assured me that as long as you maintain the tanks properly, they don't stink. I'm gonna meet with my brother in about a week. He's gonna show me the rundown of how to use all of my plumbing systems. <laughs> and I may end up going back to the good old fashioned toilet. However, if not, I have my whole system down. Anytime I go car camping, which I plan to do on a regular basis, I plan to take Little Red out all over the Southwest just on much shorter trips for much shorter durations and then come home to lovely old clunk. Anyway, so I hope this is helpful for anyone who does any type of vehicle camping or dwelling. It has really been relatively easy for me and maybe I'll go back to a toilet, but this is what I do now. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, be sure to like. If you have any questions, ask. As long as they're appropriate, I'll answer. Thanks for watching. To follow our nomad adventures, like, comment, turn on that notification bell and subscribe.